And now, the general weather around Alaska. Welcome to Alaska Weather. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan coming to you from the National Weather Service in Alaska region on this Wednesday before Thanksgiving Day, November 26, 2025. And our holiday Alaska weather related headlines, well, we have some gustier winds across portions of the interior that could cause some blowing, drifting snow. Uh, then we're watching a push of moisture that's currently riding up through uh, Kodiak Island, wind and rain, and as it works its way farther north across the Kenai Peninsula around Prince William Sound, it's going to result in some snow or even a little bit of a light icy mix of precipitation later uh, this uh, Wednesday night into Thanksgiving Day. And then we're going to watch yet a couple of other areas of low pressure come out of the North Pacific, one toward the Aleutians and another one coming up into the Gulf. And the system coming up into the Gulf later this weekend and early next week will bring uh, some moderate to heavier precipitation along with some strong gusty winds. It'll have a larger impact as we uh, slip into the beginning of December. And overall, an active storm track uh, coming out of the North Pacific will impact uh, Eastern Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula, all the way along the Gulf into the Panhandle for next week into next weekend. So a more active weather period is on the way here to close out November and to start out December. Well, going to the far north, we have clear skies, cold conditions, Utkiadvik, Barrow. The sun has set below the horizon uh, a little while ago, a uh, number of days ago, and now it's just riding midday just below the horizon. Will not come back up above the horizon until the third week of January. And Bethel, increasing cloud cover, 15 degrees. You're gonna see some snow showers moving in uh, tonight and on and off uh, during the day on, on Thanksgiving. And then Moose Pass there along the Seward Highway could pick up six to 12 inches of snow beginning later this evening through Thanksgiving Day. So be aware of travel there along the Seward Highway, the Sterling Highways are under winter weather advisories of which I'll highlight in a moment. And then Douglas there uh, to the uh, southeast of of uh, Juneau, partly sunny at times today in 35 degrees. And looking at what we have for current uh, hazardous weather across the state as of mid-afternoon this uh, Wednesday. In the north, special weather statement for areas along the Dalton and Elliott highways for gusty winds that could cause some areas of blowing snow in that area. And then we have a wind advisory for Delta Junction, Fort Greeley. The reason these winds are going to be around here for uh, tonight and into the day Thursday is high pressure is going to build over the Yukon Northwest Territories. We have a high that's going to build to about 1045 millibars. And so it's the east northeasterly flow across the panhandle that will allow clearer skies and crisp, cooler, drier conditions across the panhandle for the Thanksgiving holiday. But those winds kind of come more out of the southeast as you as it circulates around the backside of the high. So there'll be some gustier winds in through the mountain and the gaps. And so just be aware of that fact. And then we have the winter weather advisory for uh, the latter half of this evening through Thanksgiving Day and the pre-dawn of Friday morning. And uh, the mountainous areas, especially from Summit Lake, Moose Pass, Turnigan Pass is where the heaviest snow will fall. Areas in the western Kenai, especially down toward Nanilchek and getting down uh, around uh, Anchor Point there, we'll be dealing with lighter snow, maybe an inch of snowfall, but could be mixed with a little bit of freezing rain or plain old rain, because temperatures are going to be rising. This pattern is going to cause temperatures to warm. Uh, now through the weekend, we're going to get highs back up at least into the mid-30s across uh, south central Alaska. So. We have a winter weather advisory in effect uh, for snow in the area. If you're going to be driving, get around to Girdwood, especially Turnigan Pass coming down through uh, Summit Lake and Moose Pass. These areas could pick up 6 to 12 locally, as much as 12, 15 inches could fall uh, there at Turnigan Pass. If you're going from Cooper Landing on over to Sterling, that stretch could have lighter snowfall, an inch or less, but some freezing rain mixing in. Uh, so there could be some icy spots there. And then also down here, once you get from around Clam Gulch through uh, Nanilchek and Anchor Point, 
uh, there could be up to an inch of snowfall with maybe a tenth of an inch of a light glaze. But temperatures Thanksgiving Day into Friday are slowly going to be rising above freezing. Uh, that milder air overspreading uh, areas of south central as we do have a moist push and warmer push of air coming up out of the North Pacific. Here comes the first wave. We have low pressure that's going to pull across the Alaska Peninsula and Bristol Bay very late tonight and uh, Thanksgiving Day morning. So Kodiak, you're getting breezy conditions along with some rain. As that rain comes further north and counters some of the colder air, especially over the mountains, those areas, it's going to be accumulating snow, whereas along the coast, just plain old rain. And as we uh, look at the map here late tonight, this is 3 a.m. for Thursday, Thanksgiving Day morning. The low will be crossing the Alaska Peninsula to Bristol Bay. And by the time we get into Friday, this low will be all the way up to the lower Chukchi Sea. Not a very strong system, but it has a decent feed of moisture coming up from the North Pacific right up into the Western Gulf across Kodiak Island and up toward the Kenai Peninsula and Prince William Sound. So that's the first wave of low pressure with moisture. There's more coming. So by th Thursday, tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day afternoon, the low will be uh, begin to push along in north of Bristol Bay. The initial push of moisture will work its way out to east of Prince William Sound around Cape Suckling. But there's another low down here that will be coming up on Friday. That low will bring some more additional moisture back toward the eastern Kenai, Prince William Sound, and along the northern northeastern Gulf Coast. But that's not, there's more. If we look off to the south and west Friday. There are going to be a couple of other low pressure systems coming up out of the North Pacific that are going to have even more moisture and even milder air. The one that's going to be coming up into the Gulf late this weekend uh, is definitely going to bring widespread precipitation along the Gulf Coast into areas, even pushing up into portions of the south central interior and the panhandle. I think you have a pretty good shot of accumulating snow across the panhandle Saturday night into Sunday morning before the warmer air moves in, uh, even down towards sea level, because the colder air will be put in place by this high, uh, and that's what initially will allow the snow to fall there in the panhandle. So stay tuned, because the weather's going to stay active. And here we are on Saturday, and here there is one low south of the Aleutians, and where you see this triple point where the occluded front, warm front, cold front kind of come together. There's going to be another low down this way that comes up and heads up into the Gulf later this weekend. And that one is going to have uh, even more moisture with it along with some gusty winds and uh, widespread precipitation that will fall in the form of coastal rains and then intercoastal mountain snows. And if any of that moisture can get further inland in the South Central or into the Panhandle, it's going to result in accumulating snow that may require advisories and warnings just as a heads up for any later holiday weekend travel plans you may have. Now for Thursday morning, Thanksgiving Day, we could see some 20 below readings isolated uh, there at uh, Northway in parts of the Yukon Flats, 15 to 20 below and along and just north of the spine of the uh, Brooks Range. Temperatures colder in the northern panhandle, uh, low, mid-20s uh, at uh, Juneau, Skagway, Haines, but near freezing or just above freezing, Sitka down through Craig and uh, Ketchikan. Uh, Kodiak City holding around 40, so milder temperatures. Temperatures at Seward and Homer will generally stay above freezing, but we are going to have a push of milder air trying to come north. Anchorage Bowl may only be in the upper 20s on Thanksgiving Day, but you drive down uh, into the Seward Peninsula and temperatures are going to be rising above freezing. We find highs in the lower, even mid-40s, outer and southern panhandle, Sitka down through Klawak and on over toward Ketchikan. We have 40s extending out along the Alaska Peninsula and uh, into the eastern Aleutians because we have the initial low that's going to be working its way northward and scooting up toward the uh, Chukchi Sea by Friday morning. So that's going to help moderate temperatures along the west coast as we go uh, into Friday. So it's not going to be quite as cold. Uh, the coldest air is going to kind of retreat here over the east central interior along the Elkan border. Uh, into the Yukon Flats and upper half of the Yukon River. Friday morning lows still below zero in those normally cold spots in the east. We find temperatures not as cold in the south central because we've had that initial surge of moisture come in and then that second low that's going to come up out of in the North Pacific into the Western Gulf on Friday. And then if so, that's going to allow temperatures Friday afternoon. Generally, most of the panhandle will be above freezing except for as you get up 
the Klondike and Haynes Highways toward the, uh, the, the mountains there in the passes. But out along the Gulf Coast, temperatures generally at or above 40, whereas even creeping upward into the Susitna Valley, temperatures are going to slowly try to moderate a bit as well. And we find temperatures in the 40s along the Alaska Peninsula. So here is the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook for early December, December 2nd through the 6th. That's next week. And we are looking at above normal temperatures over the southeastern half of the mainland and the panhandle. And as I told you, when you get above normal temperatures in the wintertime, especially December, January, it's not good news because you get warmer air, more water vapor, more moisture can exist in that milder air. So it has to precip out, especially bump into mountains. So this within these areas, uh, the southeastern half of the mainland and in through the panhandle, could see above normal precipitation as well. Doesn't mean it's going to be sweltering warm. No, it's going to be dancing that tightrope between rain, snow, and freezing rain. And with a push of a healthy dose of moisture coming in off the North Pacific up through the Gulf, areas like Fairbanks, Northway, uh, the Northern Copper River Basin, the Alaska Range, Tanana Valley's 40 mile gold country could be in store for some heftier snowfall uh, as we uh, go into early December. So keep that in mind. And uh, overall, it's going to be a more active, stormier weather pattern here to start out early December from areas of the Alaska Peninsula, but especially as we get along the Gulf Coast up into the southern southeast mainland and then into especially the northern panhandle. So again, pay attention, stay tuned to later updates because uh, we got a lot of travel and things going on here with a long Thanksgiving Day holiday weekend.